Hello and welcome to this video from Retro Legio Midlands Limited. Today we're going to show you how to set a basic Mala setup. We have pre-installed Windows XP on our computer. So we're going to start off by going into our C drive. Now for speed I've copied the files onto the desktop. The first thing we're going to do is we've got a basic Mala setup here that we have expanded. And we're going to take that and I'm going to move it from my desktop, but you could have it on a USB stick and paste it into there to your C drive. We're now going to go into there, we're going to get main, we're going to cut main and we're going to paste main into there. Now when we look at main in there, we've got ROMs in the ROM folder, um, we've got snap that we'll come back to in a minute. And on this particular one, I actually have some layouts that I could use. So once we've done that, the first thing we're going to do is launch main. So it Mala. It will come up saying that it's in debug and it will come up in a minute and say, this is the first time it's been ran because I've deleted all in this. So this is what you're going to be presented with. The first thing we're going to do is tell it where the main executable is which in my case is there. Now in his phone, would you like to create a menu? Yeah, would you like to create? Yes. Now, the speed this will go depends on how quick your computer is. That's done that. We're now gonna tell it where to find the ROMs, which are on C, Mala, MAME, ROMs. Now, what is important here is that you go into what's into this one here, game collections, and tell it only for ones that are found. We're now going to go OK, configuration's changed, refresh the list. Now, this is going around looking for what games are on your computer. It'll come up with an error in a minute saying there's no controls or something like that. It always does that. Don't know why, it never causes a problem. This will now come up and give us our basic list. Now, if we wanted something a little bit more fancy than that, we'll come out of there. I pressed escape and then play I want to exit. Oh, ignore me, sorry, we don't come out of there. While we're in name, in Mala, sorry, we're going to right click and go to configuration. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is take it out of debug because we don't need it in debug. We're then going to go to um, pictures and videos and we're going to tell it where our snaps are. They are on C drive, Mala, Main, Snap. Now, in the background, we actually now have pictures of the games as we look as we go through them. We want to get even cooler than that. We can go to options and configurations and if we have got um, um, what do you call it um, themes we can use them now they are in here in layouts we're going to go and we're going to point it on this computer Mala layouts because I've got some layouts installed on it we're going to use the one that says main because it's kind of cool we're going to press OK and that has now loaded a main layout that I downloaded off the internet. So what we're going to do, we're going to press escape and number one to exit. We're now going to right click and copy that. Close that box, go start, program startup. Right click, explore all orders, all, all users and paste shortcut. Now what's going to happen now is when we restart the computer, I'm just going to log it off and log it back on because it's a lot quicker for the video but you can imagine this loading now after a restart it will automatically load itself into your front end and there you go pick a game use your control panel joysticks keyboard whatever you want to to play it and there you go there's your games running absolutely brilliant now one thing you can do is you can go into the options on this and you can go in 
to one of the various settings on this. I can't remember which one it was off the top of my head, but there is a setting which I think is on GUI. Yes, it is. And instead of quit, you can tell it to shut the computer down. So when you're finished, you exit name and Mala. When you press escape and F1, instead of going back to Windows, it will shut your PC down for you quite nicely rather than having your computer crash out of Windows. Thank you for watching. I hope this gives you some hints and tips on how to set name up.